today it's Sandwich and BP. So I, in Sandwich, I'm not the producer today, but he's the producer. I freaked out when I learned I was working with Sandwich. Of course, you have to keep your cool because it's like we're collaborating. So I can't be a fan, but I'm such a huge fan. We're very excited uh, about the Coke Studio for bringing us together with BP. We have this opportunity to record and write a new track and do things outside of our comfort zone. I'm a solo artist, so I don't get to do that a lot. Instead of having band members, I would have these machines. I wanted to perform in a way that was also how I wrote. Well, I remember seeing BP and being very impressed by the music she was doing. And I remember thinking this is going to be the future of Philippine music. BP is primarily an electronic artist and we're primarily a guitar rock band. We complement each other. She does stuff that we don't do, and we do stuff that she doesn't. All right, guys, who's meron? Simong, parang meron. What do you got, Mom? What do you got? I have a riff, but I'm measured for the bass. Okay. We usually start with very simple or specific ideas, and then try to vibe with it. So Mong had a little riff. Parang there's a hundred different ways that you can explore that a single idea, lyrically, musically, harmonically, rhythmically. rhythmically. And then you try, try to explore it and then see what works. Bagalan. Bagalan, 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 bagalan. I like writing songs or even listening to songs that require repeated listening to the point now when it hits the chorus and you actually listen to the words, you'll know that it's like, wait, what? I have an idea yeah. like weird, so there's a love triangle. Right. It, it was about a bizarre, for lack of a better word, a bizarre love triangle. There's a guy and a girl, and then there's another girl. But that girl likes, the, likes his yeah, Boom. Who does that? An unconventional love song. Uh -huh. <laughs> As someone who is part of the LGBT community, there's not a lot of representation in the local music industry because not a lot of people talk about that because they're afraid. But the one girl doesn't know that the boy is not her love. The love is the girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, so it's a hypothetical situation, but I just have to talk about it because I have followers, I have people who listen to my music, and if I don't utilize that as a platform, then what's the point of having that kind of platform? No, it's not too weird for you guys. No, no, we, 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 the weirder, the better. So, parang wow, it's super weird. We liked it right away. Have it naturally come together. It's not even just a collaboration, it's a whole new thing. So a stig. <laughs> I think it's gonna transform into something nasty. Nasty. Magical. Electronic. Electronic rock. <laughs> <laughs> It's covers day today, and Sandwich and BP are exchanging songs. So we're gonna do, even if you ask me. We wanna know how you wrote the song. We wanna know where it bega how it began. Even if you ask me, even if you ask me. Even if you ask me, it's written about the feeling. It's when you see someone that you used to share almost like, you know, every waking second with, and then suddenly it's like you don't know them anymore. Among her songs, ito yung tumawag sa amin melodically. We like the motif that's going on the entire song. The chord sequence, it changes. I couldn't figure out the chord pattern until we spoke to BP earlier. Do you change it according to feeling or according to theory? Feeling, because the theory supports the feeling. So. We got schooled, yes. Maybe <laughs> She's kind of a stream of consciousness mm -hmm. arranger. So to make it more sandwich -y. sandwich -y. <laughs> So they settled on three chords, na pa ulit ulit, which is how sandwich does their arrangements. Just to imagine them doing it is crazy. <laughs> Cause like, you know, this isn't this isn't your everyday thing. I've talked a lot about how 
I really look up to them. Just to watch them arrange something is really cool. Studio, it's cover day. <laughs> I chose to check pony because it's a song that is an earworm. It's 
not just the chorus, but also the bass line. So when I hear the bass line, I'm just like, that's it. We wrote that song after watching the movie. 24 hour, 24 hour party, party people. It's about the Manchester scene. The Manchester scene. scene. So how the rave, yeah. how the rave a, culture it's started. Like, it's so cool that they remember it so vividly because they remembered it down to what inspired them to write it. Do you want to slow it down or do you want it like a rich? Yeah. Hi guys. Hello. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hello. What have you guys been doing? What are you up to? We, uh, like, okay. we were just talking about the arrangement of the cover. BP asked her friends to play with her. Such a shame that you can't be with me. I think Buddy kept us grounded. Uh, at least on our, an arrangement level, I really wanted to make it more floaty. And then we had our chance to make it more of our flavor. Okay, okay, you guys are done. This is, this is nice. I'll see you at the studio, okay? Cool. I love those moments. Just like, They covered the song the way they hear it. And then they brought it back to the original, how we hear it. Just gotta do it. I don't know, that's why we're excited. It's very punk rock, I think, what she did.
guide tracks to start the recording and we recorded bass and drums first. Medyo kakaiba yung ni-request ni Mong dun sa drum parts ni Mike. Eh. Da, 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 bam! Oh, and na. it's uh, new to me, so top time. BP came in at the tail end of uh, recording the drums. drums. Yeah. And then she, she put in some uh, vo extra vocals to help us record. Siyempre, nahiya ako. I didn't immediately jump into it. I was trying to feel things out. But then she came prepared with the lyrics. I had my lyrics and I had the structure and then just laid it down. When you know, when your bandmates are recording and you're done and all this sound swirling around the room, it's just really relaxing. <laughs> we had so much fun, I fell asleep. We recorded ambient guitars and very loud guitars, and she slept during the loud guitars. <laughs> Quite peacefully, I may add. Because we have a little rule that if someone falls asleep, you don't wake him up. After the days that we've been working together, the mere fact that you can just sort of plop down there with us, too is comfortable. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. <laughs> You don't want someone to record super tired. It, you'll, you'll hear it. Being in an environment where they cared enough about me to let me sleep. <laughs> thank you, thank you for letting me take a power nap. Because when I woke up, I was just like, I'm ready. Guitar? Guitar. Keyboards or sing? Guitar. 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 At the drop of a hat, she's awake. She was on right away. She was ready. She was ready to sing. It's like osmosis. She knew exactly what she wanted to play, which instrument, and what part to play. In. <laughs> I'll get your guitar. Sandwich is a band. When they perform, you can tell they're having fun on stage. Me and the rest of the band, we vibe on the same frequency. I think what surprised me the most is how much rain they gave me and how much creative control. We're also a band that is not very precious about ideas. That one. What was that? Yan! It doesn't have to be my idea. My idea only. It works if everybody likes it and it it's funnier that way too. <laughs> I want nothing to do, nothing to do with you, boy. I'm glad they let me tell that kind of story because it's about a love triangle of a dude, a girl, and the girl being in love with the dude's girlfriend. Just the fact that they didn't edit that. Can you imagine? And that's when I realized I was in good company. We're in the middle of the season and we are very happy to announce that everybody's learning something new from everybody. We've been doing this for 20 years and yet every day, wow, there's something new and we're taking notes. Do you? Everyone would jump at the opportunity to be in, a, in something like this where focus is placed on creation and vibing and just collaboration. I had so much fun, period. Tracking
on the next episode of Coke Studio Philippines. We have Abra and, and Grace Note. Medyo kakaiba siya kasi ngayon isang buong banda yung katrabaho ko. Eh. Bilib kami sa kanya kasi casual lang. Siguro okay na tungkol sa pagkakaibigan. Pwede. There are some challenges because obviously Grace Note is not a rap band. Nawawala ako sa timing. We wanted him to play less notes but heavier yung groove. Bukas na lang ang magpakailan ba? Yes! Nakakahawa eh. Feeling ko balanced siya. Oh, nagustuhan nyo ba yung video? If you guys dig it, please be sure to like and subscribe so we can keep more of these coming. Panoorin nyo rin yung ibang videos from the other artists. Sobrang ganda. They're amazing guys, so go check them out.